Leanne Kiefer, Director of Clinical Education for Crosstex International. Today we're going to talk about the use of sterilization. In particular in dentistry, steam sterilization is the most popular because it is the most efficient and the most effective. So let's talk about some of the parameters that are important for steam sterilization. In using a steam sterilizer, you're going to be looking for time, temperature, and steam under pressure, which will be indicated either on the LED readout, on a gauge, or some units will have a printout. It's important to understand how the steam sterilization works so that we can make sure we're doing best practices when using this form of sterilization. The way that steam is generated in an autoclave is that water will fill into the chamber. You always want to make sure with your particular autoclave to refer to the gauges that you know that you have adequate amount of water to create steam. The energy is transferred when the saturated steam touches the metal instrument, which causes a condensation and it's immediate transfer of heat. And it's that heat that kills the microorganisms on the instruments. There are a number of features that you want to check to make sure that your sterilizer is operating appropriately. The first thing you want to look at is your fill station to make sure that you have adequate amount of water in the sterilizer. Another important part to look at on your autoclave, not just every once in a while, but at least once a week, you want to take a look inside the door at the gasket that surrounds the chamber. Does that rubber gasket look dry? Do you see cracks on it? Is there some sort of a film on the outside of that gasket that should be wiped off that's going to allow for a better seal? So that the appropriate pressure can build up inside the autoclave. When the seal is in place, it allows the pressure in the gravity displacement autoclave to build up. Because the steam is lighter than air, the steam enters from the side of the chamber as well as from the top of the chamber. As the steam enters, it pushes the air from the top of the chamber out through the bottom of the valve because you want to have that entire chamber filled with saturated steam. Another important thing to check is that you're using the appropriate accessories that come with your sterilizer. You're using the appropriate trays or vertical racks for stacking so that you can make sure that the instruments are being placed inside the sterilizer as appropriately as possible. When the sterilizer finishes, it's important that you make sure that you have a record of the steam parameters that were met, that being time, temperature, and steam. It should be recorded in writing or else with a written document that's produced by the sterilizer. Did it reach the appropriate temperature, which is 121 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit? You'd also want to record if it reached the appropriate pressure. That pressure is going to be between 15 and 18 PSI or pounds per square inch. And the last thing that you want to record is the time. Depending upon the temperature cycle that's used, the time will be anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. Those are your physical monitors that are going to be important for you to record so that in case you need to refer back to a specific cycle or a day that was run, you'll have those records available to you. Bye.